What have we got here? A sand timer fit in a column of water. How strange. Turn it upside down and see what happens. And I've got a little timer here to set it and see how long it takes to fall through. Well, in fact, something much more remarkable than just the sand falling down is going to occur because Martin Gardner wrote this up in 1966 in a column in Scientific American. And another friend, Scott Morris, wrote about it in 82. We got a most wonderful response from the readers. He gave them this theory and that theory about how it worked. There's a modus operandi which is very subtle. Something is going on there which is stopping the thing from rising. But we'll have a go. Five, four, three, two, one half and up she goes. Wow, why should it take, to, what's the delay? What's, is it little bits of sand falling down with momentum stopping it from rising or? No, something much more subtle. A very clever little background of this, and I won't give it away, but something very subtle is going on there to cause it to delay its rising to the top. And here's a little trivial version of the same thing. It's a, it's a thing for writing short notes, I suppose. It's a little sand timer which doesn't delay when it stays at the bottom, it just rises straight up and it's got a pen to write with. But I think it's about five seconds, so you wouldn't get much written in five seconds. Just a very brief note. A much more subtle use of sand timers is in this little thing here, which is a kind of Columbus egg. When you give it a little tap and stand back and then a little bit of magic with the hands, abracadabra, ah, what happened there? Inside is the sand timer, but it's asymmetric, unlike the other one. There's a symmetrical bulb at the top, but the bottom one, as you can see, is D-shaped, and when the sand falls down, it displaces the central gravity and pulls the piece over, pulls the egg over. Very clever, very subtle. And you can do a bit of abracadabra. Well, here's another version of the same thing, but produced in India. It's a little doll. And when she's placed on the table like this, you wave your hands and say, you are falling asleep, you... And down she goes. Very clever. Must be the sand. Must be the sand. Or avert our sand timers with a bit of a tongue in the cheek, this one. It's a men's sand timer for housework. They turn it over to start the housework, get busy with the hoover, but, oh, that's all right. Then five seconds later, it's back to the beer and sandwich and television. It's a bit unkind on housewives, I think. But it's a men's housework timer. It takes about five seconds and it's finished. A very clever one, which came out only last year, we now have this on our website, is a, a sand timer-like thing. It's actually iron filings. There's a very strong neodymium magnet here. So the iron filings are attracted to it, and in a very, very beautiful way, they pick up the very strong magnetic field that's being emanated from the magnet and follow the lines of the radiating magnetic field. You're getting all sorts of wonderful stalactite things and sharp little needles all over the place. Wonderful sights. Very, very interesting appearance it makes. When it's finished, you just pick up the bulb, turn it over, and do it again. It'll do it any number of times. But it's, it suppose it's timing things as well. But a nice use of a sand timer. Then there's a very subtle one used as a magic box, a trick opening box. How do you open the box? I've covered it up with tape just to disguise it, but here's the core of it. There's a sand timer inside and it rocks back and forth like this. So when all the sand's in the bottom in the bottom hopper, it tilts over and forces this thing to sit like that and stops the lid from sliding off. It jams, this piece comes up. You have to hold the box for 20 long seconds in that direction like that, let the sand fall down, and then and only then does the little catch here will stay down and allow you to slide the lid off. So it's got its own little, quite crude, but very effective time switch in a puzzle opening box. That's a nice idea. And then there's a delightful idea which I picked up about ooh, 20 years ago, I think it was. I saw it in a fair in, in Frankfurt in 19, 1990, I think it was. It was a sand time. Well, it's very slim, but what's happening here? The sand jammed, you think? No, turn it upside down. And oh, it's an upside down sand time. What a lovely idea. Well, actually, what you're looking at is little particles of plastic, which are lighter or less dense than the water. This is not air, it's water, and they're just rising up to the surface. What a wonderful thing. But it's a little bit crazy for people who are trying to sort of um, imagine a normal world where things fall down. So if you really want to make it fall the other way, you'll have to wear sand on your head or wear upside-down goggles. Or perhaps we can ask the team to do something about turning the camera upside down and make it appear as though it's going the other way. Well, that's all right then. All is normal. Well, <laughs> almost. <laughs>